I have a little secret surprise. I'm gonna buy two tests and I'm gonna sneak them into the bathroom with me, mark one as positive, and try and prank him and tell him that I'm actually pregnant. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did not fool me there. You fooled me for like this. <laughs> I know, I'm bad. Like, look how fake this looks. Okay, but actually, <laughs> look at this one. Wait, what? That was a real one. This is a positive. This is totally <laughs> positive. Oh my god! How the heck? Okay, that was super unexpected. It took a turn that we did not plan yeah. for. I'm gonna be a big sister. Probably around five weeks. No way. How could it be five weeks? So, didn't get the best of news. So, that was obviously not the news I was hoping for. So, I guess I'm having another week of that, but. <laughs> I'm still processing this whole thing, and I think that you are too. Alright, so this isn't our typical positive vibes type of video. Um, this is a hard one for us. Yeah, um, so a month ago... We actually were uh, <laughs> filming a video for you guys. Ari was accusing me of being <laughs> pregnant and I didn't think I was. Hey. <laughs> what? Tell everyone why you've been so mean to me lately. Quarantine. <sighs> I think it's more than quarantine. It's just like too much time together. No quality time, too much regular time. We're spending too much time together, but not enough quality time together. I know, he didn't get that at first. I don't get that. But you get it now, right? Yes, that's, why, last I, time, that's why I played cards with her last yeah, night. Yeah, he planned a date for us last night. It was great, so I'm happy now. Okay, so guys, welcome back to our channel and make sure that you click subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment below, and today is all about finding out if Lauren's pregnant. I'm not. I really think she is, guys. We got. I do. The have last say, time. Yeah, Ari called it last time. I called it last time. There's no way. It's I a am. shift in her demeanor. I don't know if it's just quarantine, but she's either super loving or she hates me. <laughs> Admit There's it. no in between. There's no in between. No. So I think that she's pregnant. So let's see where this goes. Let's do the whole pregnancy test. Why not? What do you think? Will you take one? I don't know. I don't want to waste the one test I have. I'll, I'll, go, to, like I'll go to the store and get more. I will brave the store with my mask. I got this more. test right after I got pregnant with Alessi and I've been holding on to it for the next one. Okay. Do you need me to go to the store and get more? Maybe. You can do it later though. But do you want to go to the store? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's go get one at the store. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm on my way to the grocery store. I am going myself just to make sure I get the right one. I didn't trust that Ari would come back with the one that I wanted, so I'm going to do it myself, but I have a little secret surprise. I am going to try and find a light pink marker. I'm going to buy two tests, and I'm going to sneak them into the bathroom with me, mark one as positive, and try and prank him and tell him that I'm actually pregnant. All right, guys, I just got back in the car. I was gonna record in there too, but everything just kind of freaks me out. Everyone's wearing masks. And so I decided not to touch my phone in there, but got the stuff, found the marker, got the test. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna have to like smuggle that marker in the bathroom before Ari notices what I'm doing. So I'm gonna drive home, but I'll get you guys back when I'm. Lauren played a prank on me and she thought it would be funny if she wrote a positive on a pregnancy test. I'm about to take this. I told Ari he had to stay out in the living room because I want to surprise him with my fake pregnancy test. I have to be quiet and whisper because I don't want to do me. This is going to be so good. He has no freaking idea. I hope he doesn't cry though because then I'll feel bad. <laughs> so I got these like Sharpie markers. I'm going to see what the positive looks like. So that's what, that's what pregnant looks like. So I got to try and draw that. Okay, here it is. Got like a faint line right there. I'm like shaking. I don't know if I can draw a straight line right now. <sighs> okay, so I took a real one and I also made a fake one. <laughs> so I'm honestly a little bit nervous that the real one might be positive. <laughs> but this is the fake one. It's really not that believable. Um, but this is the that's the real one. And that weirdly looks like a plus sign. I'm definitely gonna be taking some more of <laughs> these. I'm getting like hot right now, my face is turning red. <sighs> okay, anyways, I'm just gonna go to Ari the fake one and see what he's doing. All right, while well, Lauren is doing the pregnancy test, she's in the bathroom and she won't come out, so I think she's waiting for it to uh, to give her a result. So let's go get a lessie. Hi, honey. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you have a good sleep? Okay. 
Whee! Just woke up, have some messy hair. Mm. Gonna have a little milk? Hey. What is it? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Oh my gosh, okay. You did I can't not. see you guys, it's too dark. You did not fool me there. You fooled me for like this. <laughs> I wish I had my phone on you. Sorry, Dang guys. it. Okay, but for real, come look at this. What? Hi, Lexi. <laughs> no, your mom and dad are crazy. Oh my god. That is a rotten prank, by the way. <laughs> I know, it's bad. Like, look how fake this looks. I colored it on there. <laughs> okay, but actually. <laughs> Look at this one. Wait, what? That was a real one. I don't know if that's positive or not. This is a positive. This is totally <laughs> positive. Are you sure? That she actually took one and it was it positive. It was positive for real. So it was that's like. That's how we found out. We went from being like so happy about it. Actually, first, I think initial feeling was shock. I'm like sweating. Babe, yeah, this is positive. Are you sure? I mean, yes. No. Did you just try to prank me, but you're actually pregnant? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's real, though. Babe, it has. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? I don't know. I'm what like this... sweating so bad. I'm like so hot. Babe, I think this is. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to take like seven more now. I think I have to go back to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> you only got one. Yeah. Well, this is. I got an extra one. Now I have that other one. Oh my. Did you? You didn't pee on this one? No. It was just a joke. <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to tell now anyways because I colored over it. Okay, so am I right or am I right? I feel like I'm right. Are we right? Okay, so this one says the actual words. Pregnant or not pregnant. So we'll see. That's better for us. <laughs> I'm like, maybe, I'm like in shock again like I was last time. If this is real, I think I might have a slight panic attack. I think it is real. What's that line for? Maybe it's like a control line. <laughs> you didn't read the direction. Oh, who reads directions for a pregnancy test? <laughs> you just pee on it and you're good. Oh my god. Alright, pee a little bit. Okay. So it's like counting down minutes or seconds, I guess. I just need to like breathe. Take a breath. How the heck does that backfire on me like that? Like, what are the odds? Was that your plan the whole time to prank me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went and got, I bought Sharpies. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. So, like, what the heck? The first time I try and prank you, I prank myself. Oh my god! How the heck? Oh my god, <laughs> seriously? Were you surprised? Well, I had an inkling because of how you were acting, but I feel like at the same time, um, I was shocked and I felt like we both were like, oh my gosh, too soon. Mm -hmm. And then we were just obviously extremely happy. I freaking knew it! Why do you always call it? I knew it! <laughs> That's why I've been losing it lately. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my god. I'm like so scared. I can't. Don't I don't be know. scared. Don't be scared. Wow, well, you're gonna be a big <laughs> sister. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was super unexpected. That took a turn that we did not plan yeah. for. We thought this would be kind of fun and funny, and I had a suspicion, but man. <laughs> you have like a sixth sense. I really do. How the hell did you know that? Oh my god. You're gonna be a big sister. <laughs> oh my mm. gosh. I love you. I love you too. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? How did that happen? I, I'm shocked right now still. <laughs> the, fact that, the fact that you like were convinced I'm pregnant <laughs> and we filmed a video about it just blows my mind. And the fact that you just tried to pull a prank on me and it totally <laughs> backfired. That was so dumb. <laughs> that just makes it like 10 times better I guess. <laughs> Oh my wow. gosh. All right. Well, <laughs> she's like, you guys are crazy. We're going to spend some family time and absorb this. So, yeah. well, Whew. okay. <laughs> Guess we're a family of four pretty soon. Oh my gosh. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Bye. We like made plans to move into a new house and we're envisioning all of our plans that we had. So, yeah. yeah, we were really excited. And then a few weeks later, we went to our first doctor's appointment for our first ultrasound. So we're on the way to the doctor for yep. our 
our first OB appointment. So and, exciting. Um, yeah, we're really excited. It's obviously like such a weird time because Ari can't go in the doctor's office with me. Um, so he's just gonna drive me there. He's got a lessee and they're gonna go for a walk or something, but I'm gonna record the whole thing. So. Yeah, I mean, you I'm super disappointed it. that I can't go inside. I totally understand. And I think that if this was our first one, I think I'd be devastated. I'm handling it, but I'm really thankful that we have like really good iPhone cameras in there and film it for me yeah and we're just crossing our fingers that everything is safe with the baby here you look at the road <laughs> you pay attention to driving i'm fine i'm fine um yeah props to all the moms and dads out there doing it for the first time like this because it can't be easy but yep all right we're pulling up to the doctor's office and i don't know why but i just got so nervous i'm having like hot flash i don't know why why are you so nervous i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know you're so I don't like going into doctor's offices right now, first of all, but second, it's just like weird to go by myself. And I'm overly emotional. And the last time I was here that I remember, I was all upset because Alessi wasn't coming yet and she was supposed to be coming. I don't know, it just brings back a lot of emotions, I think. Yeah, all good emotions I'm for me. It. I'm doing it alone now. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm all gonna, right. I'm gonna go in. Okay, good luck. Text me. The blue side out or the white side? The white side out. Are you sure? I don't know. I think the blue side's out. Yeah, we're rookies. I should know. I used to wear these all the time. I know. What the heck? I forgot. Lauren worked as a EMT. For three years. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would know what I'm doing? Come on, girl. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yeah, it looks right. Man, how do you even make those masks look good? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> All right, so All right. we'll find out how far along. We'll find out a due date, hopefully. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs> See you later. See you, babe. Bye, I love you. I love you. Bye. You hang out with Daddy. Be good, okay? <laughs> oh, baby. Can you believe that you're going to have a brother or a sister? It's blowing my mind still. Yeah, but if we have one just like you, we'll be so lucky. Yeah. All right, Alessi and I are hanging out, and I don't know, I'm just A, a little bit nervous. B, I'm just kind of bummed that I can't be inside. I know that this is going to be an emotional moment for Lauren. I want to be there for her, and I'm just hoping and praying that everything is um, okay with the baby and everything is safe, uh, that the baby's in the right spot, and and I guess we're going to probably find the due date out today, um, I'm hoping, so crossing fingers there. And yeah, so that's it. So we're just going to wait for, for mom, right? Going to wait for mom? Say hi. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Got a couple ground crackers. We're stoked. We cried for a little bit. We're good now. So yep, just kind of waiting for Lauren to get out and I'm just super bummed that I can't be there, um, especially for Lauren because I know how nervous she is. This is the first checkup, so it's a really important one. We've got to make sure that the baby's in the right place. Um, and yeah, so I just wish I could be inside, but we're having a good time, right? We're holding down the fort out here. Yeah, very close to nap time. Where's mom? Where is she? You got graham cracker all over your face, you little kitty. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little impatient. Cause it's been a while. I'm I'm nervous on what's going on in there. So, Lauren, can you please come out? I miss you already. I want to know what's happening with this little baby of ours. All right, babe. Here we are, mask and all. Just waiting for them to come in here and tell me how far along I am and whatever else. I'm like so nervous. I don't know why, but it's just weird. There's like nobody in here. Here we go. There's something here, but it's tiny. A little sack. This looks like a little yolk sack, but probably around five weeks. No way. How could it be five weeks? Were you not keeping careful track or do you have some cycle variability? Um, I mean a little, but not that much. No? Not by weeks. Well, I don't measure it. I mean, by definition, if you're at sac and yolk sac, you're around the five week mark. And then the embryo or fetal pole, you tend to see closer to six. It's measuring five weeks, two days. I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. We all start somewhere. It's gotta be five weeks once, but um... And at that point, it should have been eight weeks and the ultrasound showed that I was five weeks. So we were really confused by that, didn't know why or what was going on, but our doctor assured us that it could be a number of things and not to panic about it. If you feel like that could be a problem, I don't see a problem, but if that doesn't sound right to you, we can check hormone levels, which means we draw a level today and then repeat it again. It's Friday, obviously, so we'll just do it again on Monday. And then we want to see that the trend line is up should rise by at least 50% in 48 hours. That's a good healthy trend line. But I don't see anything wrong. So I'm just like it's early. It's normal. It's just yeah. earlier. Yeah, it's just early. How is that possible though if that was the beginning of my period? Uh, late ovulation. Sometimes it happens. 
All right, guys, Lauren just said that she's about to come out. So we're gonna go meet her at the door, find out how things went. Super excited, hopefully everything's good. And hopefully there's a smile on her face. All right, so here's the entrance. So we're just gonna wait here. Get you a graham cracker. Here you go. Bribe you with food. Oh, you're there. I waited for you. How'd it go? What? I don't know, I'll tell you about it in the car. What do you mean? Let's talk about it in the car. Okay. So didn't get the best of news. I don't know. We were so the ultrasound showed that I was a lot less far along than I thought I was. So that can mean a couple of things. So it can mean that I'm just not as far along as I thought I was. It could mean I ovulated late, or it could mean that um, it's not a viable pregnancy. So I had my yeah. my hormone levels drawn while I was there, and then I'm gonna have them drawn again on Monday to see if my levels are going up or down. So we can see if it's gonna progress anymore so i think uh the good news is is the baby is in the right spot so yeah, yeah right mm -hmm. in the right spot so that is positive and i think that we did jump the gun a little bit we went to first available appointment and we well it should have been only like one week early at the most but the ultrasound showing that we're like three weeks early so we'll just have to wait and see yeah this is a wait I'm trying and see. not to get too upset about it before i know but it's hard to not get a little bit so yeah it's okay babe i think it's gonna be okay and we're gonna look back at this i think there's a lot of stresses that come with pregnancy and this is obviously a tough one and i think it's just more of a wait and see which is hard for us to do because we want to have answers now but at least we'll get some more answers on monday okay okay bye, bye. <laughs> so after the first appointment they drew lauren's blood and then they instructed her to go to uh you know lab core a few days later to draw to see if her hormone levels were rising mm -hmm. properly and they were and they were so we were so excited yeah we were reassured okay tell us what just happened um, I'm trying. I'm like, ugh, I'm so emotional today. It's like been a roller coaster already. But my doctor just called, said that my levels have doubled in the last couple of days. So that's really good. And everything just looks good with the baby. That's awesome. That's the best news ever. We've been stressing about it all weekend. So yeah, it's been tough like the past few days thinking that maybe something is wrong. But... Yeah, everything looks good. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Everything's good. Love you, baby. Aww. We're good. Everything's good with this little nugget in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is such a good day. Okay, good. All right, that's all. That's the update. All right, guys, we're back at the doctor's office. And yet again, I'm in the car. So I'm not allowed inside, even though in Arizona, all the restrictions have been lifted. They're still limiting it to just Lauren in there. And I gotta say, it's like super disappointing because this is obviously such a crazy time. We really wanna know if everything's okay. I wanna be there for her and I wanna see our baby. I feel like, you know, it's kind of, um, they're robbing me of this and of Lauren and I having this experience together. And it's just, I don't know, it's beyond frustrating. So I'm in the car. I'm just hoping that everything's going well in there. I wanna see that little heartbeat. So hopefully Lauren takes some good video. And um, yeah, what else can I say other than I'm disappointed that I can't be there. All right, here I am in the room waiting with your favorite equipment. <laughs> they um, had me hiding in a different room before they put me in here, I think because they're trying to help me keep some privacy. So that was nice. But now I'm just waiting for Dr. Crumb and then we'll get to it. Really small so you can see really early. See that little flicker right there? Mm -hmm. So that's the baby. See it? <laughs> How is it so small still? <laughs> well, I have a feeling your dates are maybe a little it's about six weeks to me. Yeah, it's like right on the nose, six weeks. I think time will tell. I, let me get a wheel out again and look, but I mean, your gestational sac and the fetal pole are both measuring at six weeks. So I don't know if her ultrasound, I mean, doing ultrasound really early is not super accurate, right? Because we're not measuring an actual fetus because there's nothing there yet. So six weeks is like the beginning of when we actually see cardiac activity. Were your cycles super normal? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it looks like a normal six week baby, but- Like you can't see anything. No, you can see that. It looks like a normal six week baby. I mean, there's a good heartbeat and there, this is exactly what a six week size fetus looks like. The thing that concerns me is your dates aren't jiving. Yeah, you know? well, and I saw her two weeks ago when I was five, and two days. But what all she was measuring was the sack. There was no baby at that point. So that's not super 
accurate. Okay. And your dates, let me just... You can be totally blunt. I'm not no, I mean, I'm. what I see is it looks like a six-week size baby. Okay. Go ahead and push up. Got bad news again, and the baby was measuring only five days uh, more than it was in the last ultrasound, which had been two weeks prior. So again, we were in that state of wondering and worrying about it. That was obviously not the news I was hoping for, so I guess I'm having another week of that, but what can you do? So, I just told Ari the news. The reason this is a big deal, if it wasn't clear when I was in the appointment, is because I went to the doctor two weeks ago and I was measuring at five weeks and two days when I should have been around seven weeks. So that was, I didn't get great news then because I was a lot further behind than I was supposed to be. And then this time I was still a little cautious going in, not trying to get too excited because I didn't want to get the same kind of news that I got last time. But I was expecting to see like an eight week old-ish baby. It's at least seven to eight weeks. And um, now we're measuring at six, six weeks, weeks exactly. So that means we've made five days of progress in the span of 14 days. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just... Yeah, it's not the easiest news to take in. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we have to wait until next Thursday to yeah. not get any more answers. Yeah, so Thursday we'll know something, but that's a whole week of wondering. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm probably going to go crazy. It's just like the highs and the lows have just been crazy this, this time. Yeah. So, that's the update. Pretty much all I have to say. Like I said, I'm speechless. Just now it's more of a waiting game. Yeah. Like you always want to hold out hope. I guess the only thing that I'm really thinking about is that it was a different doctor who measured you the first time, and now it's a, you're our regular doctor. So you know maybe there's some hope there that the first doctor didn't measure correctly. I don't know. You know I guess Thursday we'll, we'll know for sure. I guess it'll be more consistent. Yeah. So we're gonna take some time to digest this again. <laughs> so we'll check back in you with you guys when we know something. So we're looking at the ultrasound. This is Alessi. We're kind of comparing um, the size of the fetus. And this is Alessi at seven weeks. Seven weeks, right there. And this is supposed to be ten weeks. Or what we thought it should be 10 weeks. Right. Measuring at 6. Measuring at 6. So yeah. I'm trying to make some sense of this all. We did that and then I had to wait another week to go in to... To really confirm. Yeah, if... find out if the baby was making adequate progress over the last week. <sighs> Alright, we are... Back at the doctor's office. It's Thursday, May 28th. Um, Lauren's inside, and I'm back in the car in the parking lot. And I don't know. It's um, I feel really hopeful. I felt really hopeful the last couple days. I feel like in my heart everything is fine, and we just miscounted. I'm just hoping to get some good news. Uh, Lauren's gonna FaceTime me. And a year ago today, we actually went to the hospital uh, to have Alessi, and she was born um, on the 29th, which is tomorrow. So it's her birthday tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that we have some good news and we can enjoy Alessi's birthday and, and put this sort of anxiety past us. So um, wish us luck and uh, hopefully she FaceTimes me soon. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Thank you. You like this? I do. It's a good look. It's called fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing it these days. Mm -hmm. It's about to go down. Oh, let me see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think you're scary, Lauren. How do you do that without knowing? There's no blood. It happens a lot. It's called a missed miscarriage. It's the most common kind. Your body hasn't recognized it yet. And you still have hormones like you're pregnant. But I have the color flow on. Here you see the blood flow through the uterus. And this is the baby right in here. And I don't see any blood flow to that. And last week, I think you were measuring right at the six week mark. So what the what your look? That's what I was kind of looking at too. And that's why I put the color flow on. Because it does kind of look like a flicker. That's when we got that news. Yeah. So it's been 
a roller coaster of emotions, you know, going from like scared at first a little bit because <laughs> it was so soon, then happy, then just stress and worry for weeks on end. And then obviously today was the bad news and it's something that, you know, you can never really prepare for. I feel like we've been trying to prepare for either good or bad news, but trying to stay positive at the same time. And everyone will tell you, just don't think about it. You know, yeah, that's the one like thing everyone said. You do. <laughs> when someone tells you don't think about it, you're like, yeah, right. I'm gonna think about it like as soon as I get away from you. <laughs> yeah. So it's consumed our thoughts for like, you know, the last month and it's been yeah, it's, it's been cool. hard holding this back from everybody because we feel like we're on here all the time talking about our day and talking yeah, about our and lives. Just on social all the time, like trying to pretend like nothing is going on is really difficult. Just like I don't know. It makes me so anxious hiding something like this. And I was like really excited to tell you guys that we were pregnant and yeah, so I feel like this is kind of the best way for us to tell the whole story without having to go through it and just like talk through it, so. Yeah, yeah. so we filmed our, our journey and although it doesn't have the happiest outcome, I feel like there's people at home that go through this all the, every day, like someone has this happen to them, you know, and I feel like it's important for us to document this and show you that, you know, you're not alone. You know, I I think as a man, you don't really ever think about this. You know, when you see that pregnancy announcement or the see the pregnancy test is positive, you're just like, you know, you're, you're hopeful and you're you're happy. And I feel like the lessee, we never questioned if it was a viable pregnancy or not. And I think that there's just like, no one really talks about this at all. At least guys don't talk about this with each other. Yeah, guys definitely don't. I don't think it's something guys talk about. Yeah, no. I think it's important for us to share our story and share Lauren's story through this whole thing. And hopefully the next time you see a video with the word pregnancy in it, it's positive, you know, and it's good news. I'm still processing this whole thing and I think that you are too and we'll get through it. Comment below if you know anyone or have gone through this too. Just show some love because I feel like at this time we really need it. It's okay, baby. Okay. Ari is going to go buy some Oreos for us. <laughs> And some ice cream. We're gonna eat some ice cream and eat some Oreos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright guys. That's it. Bye. Until next time. <laughs>